Okay, hi everyone, welcome to another video. It is your girl, Timoshe Daniels. I hope you are well, I hope you're doing great. I know it's been a long time and the reason why it's been a long time, honestly, is because of that word procrastination, guys. Like, procrastination is just the killer of everything, guys. Sorry, I've just been putting a video off and off and off. I'm just been saying, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, but... I'm back again with another video and I just hope you are all safe and well and doing blessed. So just a bit about me guys, my name is Timothy Daniels, I love makeup, um, I love Jesus, I love beauty, I just love enjoyment, I love looking good, I mean like I just enjoy makeup, I like shopping makeup, buying makeup, like I just love makeup, I like experimenting, I like trying new things and god guys gosh I'm so hot but yeah that's just a bit about me um please like subscribe and share if you like what you see but just a word of encouragement because you know I like to build you guys up so just to let you know that that thing that situation that circumstance you're going through that you really want God to remove from your life it's just often the thing that God is actually using you to shape you to build you and to mold you up for that you know big place he's preparing you for so sometimes the situations we want um we want removed from our life is what is actually God is using to like build you up to mold you to shape you for that big place is taking you for so sometimes you know don't ask god to remove it but just ask god what can i learn from this what skills can i learn from this prepare me for example like you know when david in the bible was fight was you know was a shepherd you know shepherding his father's sheep who'd sometimes encounter you know bears lions who'd want to harm his sheep but little did he know that that sort of thing those circumstances that situation was preparing him to defeat goliath so sometimes i know we're all going through some hard and difficult circumstances but you don't know that's what God is using you the the skills sort of like the pain you know the sort of like endurance you're developing from that situation God is using using it to prepare you from that big and better place he wants to take you to so don't give up stay strong guys but yeah in today's video as you guys know I love makeup so in today's video I'm going to do a soft glam makeup look and I'm going to be trying out the elf soft glam satin foundation so just this is a long wearing satin finish with the hydrate with a hydrating foundation and it is buildable so we're going to try that today um I'm also going to try and make sure like whenever I try a new but basically what I like to do like when I'm trying new makeup, I try and like use it with other brands. With I, I, when I'm trying new makeup, I try and use it with other products from that same brand because I like to believe they make it with the intention that all products will kind of like flow and bounce off and complement each other. But yeah, I'm going to give this a try, guys. I'm, I'm already, you guys. I'm not going to lie to you. I do feel like it's a bit light, guys, because I really just. I'm an online babe, guys. I shop online. I like the convenience of shopping online. I do find going shopping in store very overwhelming. I find it very scary. I find it very annoying. Like, so it's either I shop in the early, early hours of the morning where there's nobody there and have all the space to myself, or I shop, shop, shop late, 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 late at night where everyone's gone home. So yeah, but yeah, I bought this online, and guys, I probably should have gone a shade darker, but we'll see how it works. Hopefully, everything works out. You know, I mean that's the whole point of being creative making things work out for you but yeah please um i'm just gonna get ahead in the video please like like i told you i hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the video give it a like if you enjoy the content give it a thumbs up and i will see you on the other side so to prime my skin i'm using the elf jelly pop dew primer and i love this primer it's just a gel texture primer which grips the makeup so it stays put and i just feel like it just has a refreshing watermelon scent i feel like the difference between this one and the grip is just that this one just got has like a nice watermelon set yeah and then i'm gonna go with my holy hydration holy hydration gel moisturizer and this is really good for oily and combination skin um it just gives you it just gives all the moisture you need without the heaviness of a rich face cream it's non non greasy and absorbed into the skin to give you that plumped hydrated moisturized finish then to um conceal my acne scarring i'm using the rimmel, rimmel multi tasker concealer in the shade 105 cinnamon 
um this is a hydrating liquid concealer um it corrects it brightens it hydrates it's buildable to full coverage concealer and it helps with covering blemishes and dark circles and it does claim to deliver up to 24 hours of hydrate, hydration. I do believe for the price, you can't really go wrong. It covers nicely, has a good choice of colors, a budget concealer, and I can't really complain. I really do like this, and I feel like this may be my new go-to drugstore concealer. Then I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Soft Glam Satin Foundation. I think I'm in the shade number 45. Um, I did misjudge, I think I went a bit well clearly i did go lighter but this foundation is a long lasting hydrating liquid foundation a medium to buildable coverage and a nice satin finish um it has a breathable it has a breathable finish does not look or feel cake cake cakey and i just feel like it just gives like a second second skin finish without clogging your pores or leaving any sort of weightiness um and it just lies somewhere between matte and dewy which gives you the best of both worlds the foundation i believe provides a very fresh and healthy and breathable look um offers a very radiant radiant finish but i do believe that the glow is a bit more subtle than the actual dewy finish um yeah it's just a nice breathable affordable foundation i feel like the sell point is eight pounds and like i said you really can't complain for the price you really really can't go wrong and i do like this foundation like it's very nice and breathable and then obviously to conceal and to to conceal and brighten my under eye um to conceal my under eye i'm going in with my health hydrating camo concealer and then to brighten my under eye i'm going to use my rimmel multitask concealer in the shade rose honey then to set my face i'm going to go in with my huda beauty glowish luminous pressed powder this actually like the foundation it is very breathable very lightweight like it genuinely just feel like you're not wearing anything it blurs the look of pores without settling into your fine lines it has a nice luminous glow and it just feel like you're wearing nothing at all thanks to the light coverage and yeah i don't know what shade i'm in, in this part of but i do like this but i feel like this made everything work out because this powder i did go a couple of shades darker so if i get a lighter foundation it kind of like hopefully balances everything out then to set my under eye i am in love with this cry cryolin i don't even know i'm saying it right but i've got the cryolin professional makeup translucent powder i believe i'm in the shade tl9 to set my under eye and this translucent powder has a matte finish it is guys the only thing i love about this under eye concealer is the fact that it's incredibly long lasting as a good shade for my under eye like it has great absorb absorption power and it really does enhance the durability of my makeup on the skin like it doesn't separate like it's very effective it's very efficient like my under eye just looks nice and smooth throughout the the whole day there's no creasing like it really does set the concealer very very well underneath my eyes then i'm going to be going in with my primer um my, with my elf infused matte bronzer i believe i'm in the shade sun soaked deep and like guys i love this bronzer i really love the sun kiss color that it gives me and it stays put like and i'm also happy there are new shades available because i know that they weren't when i when i first was i mean a while back when i was on the world elf website i don't remember seeing deeper shades in this bronzer so i'm glad that there are new shades available like this item this bronzer just gives you the perfect sun kiss glow it's an affordable drugstore bronzer like it's so good and it just warms the face so beautifully so i did intended to use the elf power grip dew setting spray but i was i'm not impressed with the mist i did feel i do feel like more should have come out and i did feel like i have to spray a lot of times to cover my face nothing came out and it just left dots on my face so yeah i thought this spray was kind of heavy in spots and it showed on my foundation so that's why i went in with my baby my super drug vitamin e hydrating facial mist a nice glowy and radiant finish melts all the products together tones the face giving a boost of moisture with each spray then i went in with my elf primer infused matte blush seamless blending and incredible staying powder the blush is beautiful and it is a pigmented blush i have used other shades and it does give 
melanated, melanated, melanated skin a beautiful, gorgeous finish. Then for my lips, I'm going with my Rimmel Lasting Finish Lip Liner in the shade Brownie Pie. And I love liners, you know, I feel like they add definition, enhance your, lip, enhance your lipstick for flawless, elevated style. You know me, I like to overline and I love my ombre, my matte ombre looks. So I'm going to be using my e.l.f. liquid matte lipstick in the shade Praline. And my Maybelline Superstar Matte Ink in the shade Poet. So guys, thank you so much for coming to the end of the video. This is the finished look. Not bad, not bad, not bad, guys. I am quite and completely satisfied. Just gonna do a quick overview of like my. This is just like a. Um, I thought like this is a nice soft glam, nice matte. Nice soft matte, soft glam makeup look. Just a quick rundown of my favorite products in the video. Um, so I recently tried the new, is I, I recently tried the new Cryon. I don't want to butcher the name, but just the Cryon Professional Translucent Makeup Powder, and I'm in the shade TL9. And guys, I really like this. I am, I really love the smooth, um, sort of like nice, bright, subtle under eye it gave me. Um, my least favorite product of everything I used to say, guys. Um, this is just too fine for me. Like, I just, I don't like the spray. Like, I'm sure it'll be nice, but I really don't like the spray. It is very, very fine, and I just feel like it did leave a bit of, like, blotches all over my face. Um, very satisfied with this foundation. It is buildable coverage, a nice satin finish, and very hydrating. And then... Um, I really did enjoy this bronzer guys. I really like the um, I really like the undertone of the bronzer. I like how it's red and how it's very, very warm um, Guys, I'm not really I don't know how to explain it, but I, I prefer to bronze rather to, than to contour. I don't know if they have the same um, Effect, but I do like the I do like when I use in a bronzer. I do like the effect the bronzer has on my face. I feel like it makes me look very warm, very chiseled, very tanned. It just gives me very like holiday vibes. So I'd rather use a bronzer than a contour if that makes sense. So I really did like this prime infused matte bronzer, and this is the shade Sun Soaked because I really do like how warm how warm this came up on my skin. But mm, yeah, this is the finished look. Um, please like, subscribe, and share. I really do hope you enjoy it. And I really did hope. I really did do hope. I really hope you enjoyed the video and everything I use will be listed down below. And just a gentle reminder that there's nothing you can do to make God love you more or make God love you any less. Stay blessed and remember that Jesus loves you and I love you too.